Greetings sailors and welcome back to World of Warships and as promised a bit of gameplay in the Incomparable which is a very very recent acquisition in fact this is my most recently acquired ship this of course is a ship that costs a bunch of steel and I was a little bit torn as to what to get because the Borgogna also looked very interesting and I guess the Shikishima was an option as well Although, with there now being the, uh, God, what's the tier 11? Uh, the something that's also got 510, the Satsuma. There we go. I need a lot of credits before I can get the Satsuma. But, uh, yeah, you know, that that's credits rather than steel. It's a lot easier to get credits rather than steel. So, in the end, I just pulled the trigger. And I could have actually been a bit more sensible and waited until the uh, steel slash coal discount coupons replenish in like June or July or whenever it is but in the end I had enough steel now so I was impatient and I bought it. I've, I've done like three battles in this so far and the main piece of advice seems to be don't be in a battle where there's carriers which is uh, yeah luck of the draw really at the moment there seems to be more than a few carries around at tier 10 I think principally people grinding out uh, well certainly some of it's gonna be people trying to grind out the experience to get the two super containers for super ships because uh, there have been a lot of the uh, United States and the um, uh, is it the Eagle that's the tier 10 British I can't remember but there's been a whole bunch of other super ships around as well, so it's not just them, it's just I think they've been bumping up the number of carriers in play at top tiers overall. And of course, if you see one, then uh, it's going to be matched up against another, so uh, yeah, uh, I suppose that would sort of affect the perception of how many you're seeing, even though really it's just the one on the enemy team you have to worry about. In terms of captain points, I have decided to try out Brisk just because this is really a sneaky ship. 10.6 concealment for a ship this big at tier 10 with these guns. It's pretty bonkers so we'll see what speeds we can get up to. The rest of them aren't anything too wacky. I, I did briefly consider the one that nets you um, what is it? A decrease in reload and an increase in enemy dispersion for the number of fires that you have but honestly that has never seemed like a good skill so I, I briefly considered it and then thought nah there's other much more useful things I could spend points on well okay this is a carrier game but there are no super ships and it's actually uh, a tier 8 to tier 10 game so Okay, the carrier is going to be a bit rubbish, and the Amatos, the Lion, hell, all of their battleships can basically slap me silly, so I will have to be kind of careful and uh, play it a bit more cautiously than I'm used to in a battleship. So we'll see how this goes. Like I said, it's only been a couple of battles, so I really am sort of just feeling my way out a bit here. I, I know I'm a little bit late to the party in terms of the incomparable, but uh, it's new for me anyway. I mean, it's relatively new for everybody, but the uh, the, the first rush of content is uh, well past at this stage, if I can put it in those terms. Anyway, let's see. Well, we're already at 30 knots. Let's see what we can get up to. I mean, this isn't even with the benefit of the speed boost, which we also have. One of the things I have struggled with in just a couple of battles is remembering that you've only got the three heals, and yes, it's a super heal, but it's still only three. So you kind of have to be careful. And uh, I've not got it decked out for maximum range either. We're at uh, 20.4. I've, I've gone for better reload rather than the other thing. Oh, we're going for me, are we, Shikaku? Okay. I'm sorry, how the ship this big is. It's not especially manoeuvrable. So that's fun. I may take the vigilance skill as my last two points just for the extra torpedo protection. So I'm down already 7,000 hit points. 
which I can't heal back because torpedo. So that's fun. Super heal doesn't help you that much there. So I have the same heal as the uh, uh, the 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 CLs, which I hope I'm not horribly embarrassing myself here. But oh, okay, Kaga. Um, in in saying this, there might be the same heal as 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 this. I'm, like, I'm assuming this has the same heal as the Nelson, but um, yeah, is it? Citadel damage, but not heavy damage. Well, I honestly can't remember. And everyone's pointing their guns at me. Don't point your guns at me. There are other ships. I don't like it. <laughs> at least I'm getting the benefit of a little bit of extra speed without having to pop the speed boost. But maybe I should have gone for the extra range. Fire. Oh, for goodness sake. Yeah, see, I'm already getting completely pummeled. <laughs> for goodness sake. I do like the gun sounds. I, I think I might have to swap this for the extra range rather than the reload because uh, I think, frankly, it's going to be necessary. Although, you know, there's just usually going to be somebody that has better range than you unless you're extremely lucky with being top tier. So, uh, yeah. I mean, having said that, even a Fuso would outrange me at the moment. So it's, it's not that special for sure. Oh, let's see if we can't come around a bit. Stop firing at me! I don't like it! 12k, that was a good solid hit. God, I'm already down a heal and like half my health though. Problem solved, sir. This might be a real short radio. This is a lot of their team. Let's let's turn around before we uh, try firing again. This seems like... Uh, Actually, I don't know what this team is doing. I mean, I was going to say, it seems like most of their team, but there's a little clump over here. Now, Kearsarge is kind of alone. The Amato is coming over this way. We've got our tier 8s here. I'm, I don't quite know. There's nothing particularly cohesive happening at the moment. Yeah, I might have to go with the extra range. I think the... Uh, Reload over range is not really going to work out for me. Especially if you want to stealth up and reposition. Then the, uh, the reload's not going to be that important. This, this is not really a ship, or at least I get the impression it's not really a ship where you want to get up close and personal and brawl in people's faces because you will probably regret it very quickly. I mean, you do have torpedoes, which I've not really had an opportunity to use yet, but yeah. No, Yamato! Why not someone else? I think everybody knows that this is a squashy ship by now, so it's like, yeah, let's shoot at that. Ah, there goes my second heal. No spotted by planes. Can't even hit you the Yamato. Yeah, I think... <laughs> I think the range might be uh, of vital necessity. I think I've convinced myself in just a few battles. Quite often I will go for the reload module over the range module because a lot of the time having the better rate of fire is more useful but uh, this is a much less survivable ship than, uh, than, a, than, than most battleships, well, battle cruisers even. So uh, yeah. Thinking the extra range, reaction time, etc might be useful. Right. Uh, is there is our cargo a fan? Are they just trying to turn themselves pink on purpose? Honestly I have no idea. Let's see if we can get shots on the bolty. Alright, so was there at me? Oh, there we go. Nice citadel. destroyed. Let me see if we'll finish off this other bolty. Or is someone else gonna do it? I suspect someone else will. Right, let's turn around again and hope the planes don't come and spot me. 
nasty. Yamato says they're especially nasty. I mean, they're nasty regardless, but yeah, this thing is just made of squish. It really is. Okay, this isn't looking so bad now. No, plane, stop spotting me. Go away. You really, really do have such a handicap if there's... Uh, yeah, hello. If there's plane spotting you. Like, your stealth just is worth... Like, the surface stealth is good, but detectability by air is, you know, fairly... I mean, it's still good for a battleship, but it's still 10 kilometers. So it's like, what are you going to do? There's, there's really nothing you can... Like, you can't actively avoid planes. There's, 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 as fast as you are, you're never going to outrun planes. It just doesn't work like that. So, yeah. I don't think I've had a game in this yet without a carrier, but this is only like my fourth game, so it's not exactly a large sample size. Should we try popping a speed boost? Because I'm down to Engine a boost not activated. great fraction of health anyway, so we might as well get the extra speed going. Does this, I mean, does this, uh, does this friendly cargo like want my autograph or something? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, we're starting to absolutely crumble at this point. Oh well. I thought it might be going alright for a bit there, but no, we're absolutely just kind of falling to bits. Oh well. It's not like I can get in and tank any damage. It ain't that sort of ship. Mr. Zeton. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. I don't even know what my full speed's going to be with, uh, or my max speed is going to be with the uh, speed boost guy. Right, uh, Yamato is still alarmingly healthy. But they've all been shooting at me, not him, so <laughs> I guess I'm not surprised. Right, I want to see how fast we can go in a straight line with the speed boost going. Let's... Let's hold fire for a second. It's not its not like it's going to affect the outcome of this game at this point. I mean, Torpedoes let's be real. Front. What are we up to? Let's see if we can hit... Can we hit 40? With brisk? It's looking like we can. 40 knots. <laughs> right, I wonder what would win in a, a, a drag race between this and the Georgia. Although this does have the advantage of having that engine boost and Georgia doesn't get that. Right, oh, I guess we should try and bump our damage up a little more. Yeah, this is, I mean, compared to Yamato, you do have the 18 inch guns, but a lot fewer barrels. And they aren't the 18.1. Still managing some decent hits, but this seems more like a ship that's just any squashy ship generally you, you're, you're always going to be more reliant on your teammates to tank damage and if you have teammates in with better armor that are uninterested in tanking damage or if people just decide to shoot you as a priority which you know anyone that's ever played uh, British light cruiser will know that feeling then there's not that much you can do about it I suppose I could be using my spotter plane as well. Enemy cruiser detected. Don't have uh, not much of this game left, I don't think. It's one of the reasons why I decided not to 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 go with the the range because you've got the spotter, which I've kind of forgotten about up until this point in this match. But Engine there is such a long cooldown with the spotter. So yeah, we'll we'll try doing a swappy after a swappy? What? A swap after this battle. Why did I say swappy? I don't know. Like a six year old. Would a six year old say swappy? I don't know. Probably not. They're probably too busy learning Fortnite dances or something. God knows what the youths are up to. These days. I, I, I don't know, I just yell at them to get off my lawn. Ouch! I mean... Ugh. Let's pop this last heal. One side of my... Oh, I can't quite reach. Enemy aircraft carrier sighted. 
Alright, actually the lion is probably a slightly better target to go for. Yeah, I like the guns, but lord oh lord, it's a squashy platform. And I am absolutely much more used to uh, playing things that can take the hits. I mean, we're attempting some kind of fight back, but this is way too late. I think somehow we're not going to influence the outcome of this particularly. Okay. As well use the speed boost, why not? Engine boost activated. Just kind of playing for damage at this point. Alright, who is aiming at me? I think probably, yeah, the Azuma. The Yamato could easily finish me off with a lucky shot. Hell, the Bismarck could as well. Yay! Oh, I got a bonus seal because I'm using uh, what's his face. Not that I can do anything with it, but you know. It's the thought that counts, right? That's why he's probably the best captain to use on this. Two kills for an extra heal isn't exactly wildly out of the realm of possibility in most games. Well, we've managed over 100k. Might as well get that heal going. Damage wise, not completely terrible. Enemy cruiser detected. Yeah, I'm not going to last too much longer. Now, oh, there it goes. Right, it's actually the Bismarck that got me. Oh, he's using the panda flag as well. That's, that's long been my favourite. What's left? Yoshino. Who's still got, wow, loads of health, okay. Considering how this game went, the fact that this person has this much health at this point on the back line. I mean, I guess it shows how evolved they've been getting or not. Anyway. Well, not a terrible result, but 120k is nothing really to write home about. Uh, yeah. I guess that Yoshino was just damage farming from the back line. Pretty much. Um, managed fourth on the team though, not terrible, but yeah, the fact that they had that pair of Yamatos that could just punch through all the things probably helped. I mean, we had a Yamato as well, but yeah. Yamatos can, unless they're angled horribly, take a pretty decent amount of return fire themselves. Or is this thing like a big cruiser, really? A big, a very heavily gunned cruiser. So let's do that equipment slot swap. Have the... Uh, there we go. So that gives me slightly slower main battery, but that's fine. Or a slightly slower traverse, that's still under 35 seconds. And... Oh, wait, I was using the range mod. <laughs> okay, brain, well, that's a derp. Um, no, yeah, I was I was using it, and I just... my was I just assumed that I wasn't, and I was, so without, it's 17.6. And Okay, right, so, okay, I just wasted 50 doubloons. Uh, <laughs> it's fine, it's fine. This is, um... This is exactly as good as my brain is operating at the moment, as you can tell. So let's try that again, and maybe we won't even get a carry this time, although I'm not going to hold out much hope. So, of course there is, and of course this time it's a tier 10 carrier, and there's even a submarine in the mix, just to make things even more fun. Isn't that wonderful? 
to be honest, I mean, I like the idea of this ship and I like the way the guns perform, but the, the fact that there being a carrier makes such a disproportionate difference, it's going to be a hard ship to want to play on a regular basis. It's the kind of thing I might take out a division, but yeah, for solo play, and especially when there just seems to be... Uh, it, like, you seem to have such a hard time dodging carriers at tier 10 at the moment. Um, yeah, it doesn't make me want to play it. I, I really can't think of, of many other classes or even individual ships where, where CVs have quite that much of an impact on me actually wanting to play the ship or not. I mean, there probably are some other examples. Anything that's that's stealthy, that really does rely on, on not being spotted, you know, it's going to make a difference. But with destroyers, generally, you have a smokescreen. And there are certain cruisers that uh, are obviously very, very affected as well. Things like the, the British light cruisers. But they have their own smokescreens, too. So, yeah. It's not like this thing has a get out of jail free card it's it's more of a just sit there and take it card hope that uh, you don't get too badly hurt because you know it's a very long fast ship so of course it doesn't maneuver well it's got a really really wide turning radius because that's just how these things work or it's how these things work in real life anywhere i know wargaming likes to fudge things a little bit. I was really hoping these... Uh, oh, there we go. Just as I say that, they're spotted. We ended up not getting the benefit of about half of this spotter plane as a result, but never mind. I do hope they fix this sooner rather than later, by the way, the thing where you zoom in and it like puts you way over where you want to zoom in. It's kind of annoying. Enemy destroyer sighted. But it's almost turning broadside, which might yield some nice results, maybe. Are these two in a division or they just happen to be together? To they just happen to be there. Wow, 24k. Nice. That was four pens. Oh, well, I want to make a turn here, but I might get spotted by a plane soon, so let's use the boost a little bit Engine earlier than last activated. time. No, he's going the other way. That's fine. Just wait till I'm a little bit further around before I try and uh, reveal myself. I would say something like, I can't believe I made that derp with the module, but no, I can absolutely believe I made that derp with the module. Enemy battleship detected. It's not like I have a years-long history of such uh, oh, <laughs> wonderful, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, moments. Right, is the bee cap... Are you on the surface? No, he's not on the surface. I was thinking that the, the big cat must be contested, but no, he's just staying submerged, so he's not... Um, he's not... giving the game away as to where he is. Oh, hello, Vinita. Ricochets? Firmly behind that island. They don't have any Yamatos this time, which is really nice. The Thunderer, I mean, battleship all battleship detected. guns hurt, but the Thunderer is probably the scariest thing they have. If they're using their AP shells. Are you just backing up Lepanto, or what are you doing? Yes, you are backing up, okay. Oh, 
Well, I guess that broadside to cross that is the slightly more attractive target, but I don't want to get too close. Enemy <laughs> 18 kilometers, and I'm already thinking, let's not get too close. <laughs> Good lord, this thing is just a damage sponge. Right, let's get a bit of manoeuvring in. Don't want to go for the Amagi, maybe. It's a bit closer. Oh, someone with a samurai thing. I'm really tempted by that camo. I mean, I know there's one for the Nagato as Engine well. Or is it Fuso? No, it's the Nagato, isn't it? Um, I think it looks really nice, it's just I can't... I don't really have the spare money to buy the doubloons to get the camo at the moment. I'm hoping it'll be on sale again at some point in the future. He's actually going, okay. I thought he might beach himself or something, but no. Everyone else is just a little bit too far away at the moment. Okay, well, I don't want to be cocky. I mean, we're, they've only lost one ship, and uh, this could easily turn into one of those games where everyone just pushes way too hard and it all goes horribly wrong, but yeah. It's not looking too bad at the moment. But it's not like we have a massive points advantage or anything, it's just... Oh, hello. Do I have the range for that? No. Have to be air spotted as well. Tempe's about to go down. I think I'm going to need my uh, plane. Hello, audacious. How are you? Is gonna suck too bad. No, a mere ten thousand. That's fine. From a single pass of his rocket planes, at least he lost enough that he wasn't able to do a second pass. Nice. Okay, our our destroyer. Uh, Sub actually managed to get their sub, so that's one less thing to, to worry about. Oh, you're done, good boss. Right, they're pushing on A, that's not really a surprise. I mean, we have got we've got an Akimov, so that means we automatically win, right? <laughs> God, I hate being on teams against that thing. Is in sight. I mean, it generally sucks when there's a Soviet carrier on the enemy team anyway, but yeah. The, um, is it the Chlakov, the, the premium one? That's getting a pretty hefty nerf in the next patch, according to what we know. Uh, it must be really quite overperforming, because they've not only nerfed the damage of the the skip bombers and the torpedo bombers but they've actually nerfed the fire chance of the uh, the skip bombers quite heavily as well engine boost right. activated oh, that's not the de Gros no it is the de Grossa. this is gonna hurt Yep, 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 yep. I mean, I know it's the super heal, but sometimes it really doesn't feel like a super heal. <laughs> yeah. First substantial chunk of damage, and like, I really couldn't heal that much of it back, but oh well. What can you do? Laugh, cry, and then curse your luck at getting CV games over and over again. Oh, 
Oh, was that? I think a little will leak, but we at least got some damage there. So he's firing high explosive, which is actually better for me. Hopefully he's one of those Thunderer players that doesn't know that they have really good AP shells. Oh, we won. Okay, well, that was... Yeah. If we'd lost a lot of players all at once, that really could have gone the other way, but no, they just... spent far too long not doing enough to uh, do anything about the cap, so that was that. That was really quite one-sided. I mean, the last game was relatively close. Ish. At least in terms of ships. I don't think it ended up being at all close in terms of points. You know, we, we knocked over quite a lot of their team, but uh, yeah. We actually had, like, four people over 1k XP on a loss. The cargo was nearly 1k XP. It's not like people weren't trying in that one. Whereas in this one, uh, yeah, it, 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 it absolutely could have been turned around by that enemy team, but it absolutely was not turned around by that enemy team, so... I've, I've had tougher games, I'll put it that way. So yeah, I do, I do kind of like it overall. I mean, it, it's different. It's very different from pretty much any other tier 10 battleship slash battle cruiser, but um, it's such a it's such a pull of the lever of the slot machine. I'm going for a gambling analogy here. You can tell I'm actually making a lever pulling motion right now, which is very helpful when you can't see me. Uh, yeah, it's just such an absolute like throw of the dice as to whether you're going to get a carrier at the moment, and it it, it absolutely seems like you're way more likely to get a carrier than not, and that has such a big impact on your ability to stay sneaky and stay stealthy. So, yeah, I I think I think I would play this a lot more if there was some way of of uh, guaranteeing that I wasn't going to be seeing carriers every match as it's been so far but there isn't so I don't see myself playing it that much maybe things will calm down a little bit once there's fewer super carriers around but even the, the tier 8 and the tier 10 carriers cause this problems just by sheer dint of being able to spot it because it's so squashy it's just so squashy <laughs> yeah no, uh, it's, it's, it's just uh it, it just eats all of the everything. It's kind of like Nelson, only a lot faster. Anyway, um, this has been a bit of a rambly one, but hopefully it's been somewhat entertaining nonetheless. And uh, at least, you know, you get my thoughts on the incomparable. It's not anything like an objective view on it, but, you know, if you know the rest of the kind of ships I like, then you can sort of guess the context of uh, my feelings about it so yeah so if you did find this enjoyable you can do all these your things down underneath the video and of course as always stay tuned for more